Okay, um, to wrap up section 1.3, let's just look at a few examples uh, and one problem that I've chosen from the book. Uh, maybe that'll help drive home some of the ideas. So um, I'm looking in the book at example 1.6, which is a long list of things to, to think about. And a lot of it is about the difference between this sign, which means there's an element of, and this sign, which means a subset of. It's something to keep close track of because this symbol expects to see an element on the left and a set on the right. Whereas this symbol expects to see sets on both sides. So this statement says that the, the number one is an element of the set con containing one, two, and three. Whereas this one says that this, well, the set one is a subset. The set containing just one is a subset of the set containing one, two, and three, which means that the element one is an element of one, two, three. So the information content of these two statements is pretty much the same, but um, you have to be careful about the proper semantics. So let's look at a couple of examples which drives this home. So the first statement says that one is not a subset of the set containing one and the set containing one. So this, some of this is sort of silly, but this is the idea. So this is true. These are all true. So this is true. And the the point here is that um, one is not a set. So it can't be a subset. So this goes back to that point that this symbol expects a set. If it were going to be true, if one were a subset of one, one, this would have to be a set. So therefore, this is not correct. All right. What about this? Well, <clears throat> here they're playing games with you. This is true. Normally, this element sign expects an element on the left and a set on the right. But of course, in this case, the set containing just one is an element of this set. So in this case, we have a set which is an element of another set. And so therefore, this is true because, in fact, the set can, one is inside. I mean, it's, it's this element. Here, I can color them in. There you go. And then to finally in the in this twisty business. So here they're saying that the set one is a subset of the set containing one and one. So here, why is this true? Well, we need to check that every element of this set is an element of that set. So is one an element of this set? Well, it is. Here's one here and here's one there. So um, so this is also true, but there's, you sort of have to keep, I mean, it's a very special situation that both of these things are true, that the set containing one is an element of the set and a subset of the set. And that's because of the way this set has been cooked up. So that's worth thinking about and making sure you understand that. The empty set is a subset of the natural numbers. Well, the empty set is a subset of every set. We decided that, so that's okay. The natural numbers are not a subset of the set containing the natural numbers. Okay, this is another one of these uh, confusing things, but we're okay here that this is a set. That was the problem with some of the other ones, so that's okay. But we would need to then say if this that every element of this set is an element of that set. But this set has only one element.
and that one element is the set consisting of all the natural numbers. So what's true here is that the natural numbers as a set is an element of the set containing the natural numbers as a set, but it's not a subset. And just as a final, uh, this is one of the problems from the chapter. I just wanted to look at this because it's, uh, it's a good thing to think about. So they ask you to write out the elements of this set, this, which is written in set builder notation as the collection of X, where X is a subset of the set 3, 2A, and the size of X is 2. So by our calculation, we know that X has... 2 cubed, or 8 subsets. But we only want to find the ones which have 2 elements. So if you think about the in and out approach, we want to find all of the ways we can choose 2 elements out of this set of 3, and those will be the 3 2 element subsets. And we can do that in 3 different ways. We can take the set where we keep the first 2 elements, we keep the last two elements, and we keep the first and the last element. But the answer is supposed to be a set. So um, this set here, let's give it a name. We should call it maybe B. Here is B. OK, so. Um, that's going to wrap up my discussion of this uh, section, at least by video.